Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's our weekend wrap-up report here at Topkin Options. Matthew Buckley, call sign was absolute bloodbath in the market this week uh, based on blistering inflation numbers uh, and potential World War III. We printed money. Okay, earlier in the week, what did I say? Uh, what was this? Tuesday. On Tuesday, I said, let's get long volatility and look what happened. We placed a bullish trade on volatility, and that trade, as of the uh, market closed today, is up 3800 bucks since Tuesday. 3800 bucks since Tuesday, folks. Take a look. Let's go look at the VIX real quick. The volatility index, the fear gauge, man. Look at this. Boom. Talked about it earlier in the week. I said, it is time to get long volatility, and look at that spike. Got all the way up to 19 today as the Dow imploded five. 100 points. Look at that. And also on Tuesday, we put on a bear call spread on the S&P 500 out to Friday. And we also put on a bear put spread all the way out to October. And look at what happened to the S&P 500 this week. Absolute bloodbath. Look at this. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We broke through this green line, which is the 20-day moving average. And we just Stop the bleeding on the 100-day moving average. Take a look at that S&P 500 trade. The one that expired today uh, expired for max profit of about 1900 uh, rounding up two grand. And then the trade out to October is up about five grand. So this week alone, folks, we're looking at close to twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000 in profit. Twelve to thirteen thousand dollars in profit as the market imploded and people panicked. I told you, folks, everybody's a genius when the market's going straight up, aren't they? No, they're not. Nobody's a genius when the market's going straight up. That's easy. This is a genius, and Top Gun Options members are a genius too. Why? Because we can make money when markets freak out. So big freak out this week. We'll debrief why in a second here, and we made thirteen thousand dollars just in a couple days you want to learn how to do this would you have liked to have made 13 grand this week as other people panic hell yeah you would that's why you need to head to go.topkinoptions.com slash go ft that stands for go full throttle next week starting at monday i'm going to open up the doors to my training squadron and you're going to get to walk around and check it out our normal flight operations you're going to be in my live trade briefs with regular members I don't give you death by PowerPoint slides and then show you some old trades and then tell you to buy something. And then when you get in, you figure out, you know, the guy's a complete idiot. That ain't me. I show you everything live there. I don't offer free trials here. This is the only free trial that we do uh, here at Topkin Options. Come in, check it out. You need to register. Even if you can't attend all the briefs next week, we're going Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern each day. You got to register to get the replay. Go.topkinoptions.com slash go FT. Probably by the time our live trade brief on Monday rolls around, the world is at war or more at war. Uh, apparently, Iran's got about 100 cruise missiles ready for retaliation against Israel. Israel took out a couple of their uh, terrorist generals in a consulate. Uh, and Iran's stroking pretty hard uh, to get back of them. Uh, and of course, all of Iran's scumbag uh, partners in the region are warning US, uh, the U.S. not to use any of their military bases to launch strikes on Iran. It always made me furious, folks. When I was living, I was based in Saudi Arabia, uh, it, defending or protecting these type of countries, man. Don't even get me started about this, this shit show. But Joe Biden, weakness invites aggression. Last week, he was criticizing Israel and, uh, you know, the humanitarian, this, that, and the other thing, essentially greenlighting Hamas, giving them cover. And then now he's um, full-throated Israel. He's moving, uh, you know, U.S. ships into the region, uh, guided missile uh, cruisers, destroyers, all that type of stuff to potentially act uh, as missile shields for Israel. So uh, why am I rambling about this? A market ain't going to like World War III. The market does not like when oil countries start shooting and bad things happen. Uh, we could see, I mean, oil ripped high. I, I forget what it was at, 85 bucks today or whatever it was. Volatility is going to spike. The market's going to go lower when, not if, uh, uh, you know, Iran decides to strike Israel. And Israel has already said, it warned Iran through back channels, like you hit us, we will go and attack every one of your nuclear uh, power plants or facilities where you're building suspected nukes. 
Can't even believe I'm sitting here in a video talking about World War III in the Middle East. But here we are, folks. We got war in Europe. We got war in the Middle East and war coming between uh, China and Taiwan. I guarantee it. Uh, margin debt. Now, this was when was this? April 9th. This was earlier in the week. Margin debt surges as bulls leverage bets. What's margin? People trading on borrowed money, folks. So a lot of retail traders did what? Look at this five month rally, man. It can only continue. Stocks only go up. Mm, wrong. So a lot of, you know, leverage cuts both ways, man. So as the, this market starts to roll over, this was a momentum trade up. You're going to see a momentum trade down. And I absolutely love blood in the streets. If you're getting destroyed, that's your problem. I'm on the other side of your bullish trade, pounding this thing into the dirt, making money. I showed you our trades from this week, uh, and we're going to pound the market into the dirt even more next week if something bad happens. I really don't care. I'm, I'm not emotional about the market. If uh, the market decides to bottom out next week and bounce off the 100-day moving average, I'll get bullish. But for now, I'm getting ready to pound it into the dirt. Why? Extreme investor optimism is at risk from momentum trade derailing. So these two articles were earlier in the week, like, hey, margin debt's through the roof and investor optimism is really extreme right now. That's when an experienced guy like me, I'm not going to age myself too much, but I've been doing this for over three decades. When I start seeing this type of stuff, that's when I start slowly pushing back from the table and get my volatility protection on and my S&P 500 protection on to the tune of $13,000 this week alone. Uh, what happened this week to also cause the market to roll over? Hot inflation, raging inflation, ladies and gentlemen, and then the gaslighting uh, by the White House, right? It's it's greedy corporations' fault. It's Putin. It's the Putin price hike. It's supply chain issues. It's COVID. It's fill in the blank. It's everything but in fucking saying government spending by Democrats and the Federal Reserve literally printing money out of thin air. But the the gaslighting from the White House and the liberals in the media is insane. Inflation is not a problem. And if it is a problem, it's it's just, it's you. It's not everybody. Look at this headline from the journal. What's wrong with the economy? It's you, not the data. Wow. Imagine the, 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 you think you're going to win on that, Mr. President? Uh, everything's great. Well, no, it isn't. We all see how everything's awful. Well, it's just you. What? It's kind of everybody in my family, my friends, everything sucks. So this isn't good. Really, really, really bad inflation uh, data this week absolutely means that the Fed is not doing it. Doing what? Cutting rates. Fed rate cuts are now a matter of if, not just when. Of course, clearly some sometime down the road, they're going to cut rates. But uh, I, I've told you this for the past year. They need to raise rates one or two more times, but they're not. It's an election year. They're not going to raise rates and have this market freak the hell out even more, right? They got to care about the evil 1% and stocks only go up. But folks, if the Fed was doing their job and they were data dependent, they'd see that inflation has risen again, man. It's a fire that they thought they put out and it's called reflash, right? Fire departments do this. Happened in Maui. Hey, we put this fire out, I think. We're going to leave. No, we should probably stay for a little bit to make sure it doesn't reflash. And then it did, right? So inflation has reflashed and the Fed's not doing anything about it, and Democrats are blaming you. Um, but it was interesting because the journal, after the market freaked out the other day, said, buy the dips, buy the stock market inflation freakouts, because you know it, it really hasn't uh, shaken the underlying reasons. Uh, yeah, okay, well, maybe. I'm, I'm still kind of net bullish, uh, but you know, trade the market you have, not, not necessarily the one you want. The market we have right now, five-month rally, way overbought, profit-taking, and we're starting to see the uh, uh, the market roll over uh, a little bit here. Um, really great article this week in the Wall Street Journal, Psychedelics Paid For by Work. It's coming. I love reading three years ago. There's no way in hell I would think I'd see this headline in the Wall Street Journal. There it is, folks. Um, Long-term bullish on the psychedelics, a tie, MindMed. The MindMed CEO was on Mad Money this week with Jim Cramer. Great interview. Get long-term bullish on MindMed. We're going to talk about the psychedelic investments on Thursday in our open house next week. So you got to register. Go.topkinoptions.com slash GoFT. That stands for Go Full Throttle. Heading up to Sun and Fun this weekend, taking the jet up there. Going to see some Top Gun Options members, some No Fallen Hero supporters, and I'll be back Monday bright and early for our full throttle week. Have a great weekend. Fights on and namaste. I'll see you Monday.